friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here is your pocket queen and today I'm starting my trading session with just 50 bucks and let's see how much I can make by the end of the session. By the way, today I will share my unique binary option strategy using just two indicators. So guys, stay till the end, it's gonna be lit. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my Telegram channel, the link you will find in the description to this video. And if you send me a private message on my Telegram, I will grant you a free deposit bonus to the Pocket Option website. Thank you for watching and let's get started. So I'm kicking off with $50 going for the EURUSD pair and it's a quick one minute game today. Boom! straight into an all in short position now let me break down it for you why i made this exact move what's popping on the chart you know a minute ago the price took a nose dive with a long downward candle but then push a strong green candle correction recalping half of that previous drop and why do I think it's a correction, you would ask me. Let's peep at those indicator signals together. See the green MACD line crossing the red signal line? Yeah, you see that, guys? And both lines just dance past the zero mark. Our touchy feely stochastic oscillator is dashing for the oversold zone, but not even thinking about you turning. In this case, corrections like this ain't rare. So my deal is closed and I banked $89 in the bag. Let's beef up that investment size and sniff out some more juicy trades. Um, hold up. I spot another golden opportunity and I'm going long this time with one minute expiration. Quick look at the chart and there is a catch. Basically the asset price has been bopping within the range I marked with red lines. Um, price is now tiptoeing around the lower boundary. And I'm betting on a rebound because the main trend is still looking upwards. You see the blue moving average. That's the average cost over 60 periods. And yeah, if you're just ogling at the indicators, they're ghosting us right now. Prediction on point, deal is wrapping up. It's my jackpot, $157 to my deposit. So I'm gonna up the stakes again. Time to scout another money maker. I got my eyes on a sweet spot going short on the great British pound Japanese any pair this time. It's a textbook perfect setup. Let me zoom in for y'all so that you could see uh let's see what signals fired up this decision i will try to explain actually see we've got this resistance level that the price tried and failed to high five a few minutes ago so the trend line pretty much straight as a narrow huh? you see that check out those previous candles so flat that they're basically Seem to be non-existent it's like the market's playing hide and seek and all of this actually screams to me buyers are running out of steam they're gasping for air probably don't have the juice to break the resistance two most likely scenarios here either the price will take a power nap right there or it's diving down and i'm betting on the latter and yeah just like magic my wallet is now heavier with almost 300 bucks I've got another trading opportunity staring me right in the face. It's deja vu all over again today. Um, guys, take a look at this chart, please. It feels familiar, doesn't it? Once again, have a look. 
that pesky resistance level three times in 15 minutes. It's like a movie like we've seen before. Spot that primary trend. It's going down, like my motivation on Mondays. MACD histogram, it's saying the market's kind of boring. Buyers and sellers are basically twiddling their thumbs. The recent uptick, it's not really about buyers being strong, it's more about sellers being absent, like a classroom without a teacher. Buyers are trying to fill the void, but I doubt they've got enough muscle to break through, so a rebound seems more probable. So we go, here we go, balance is now a whopping $539, yeah. All right, I'm gonna up the sticks again. I'm on the hunt for another golden opportunity. But let's not rush. The market is playing a sweet tune right now. Last prediction nailed it, but after the rebound, there is a little twist and we're back to that resistance line. It's like a rerun of a TV show episode, but we can still make use of it. I mean, the market is still the same, right? Here is a rare chance to dip our toes in the same waters twice. So this is exactly what we do. I won't bore you with the resistance line again, so let's focus on the signals our trusty indicators are flashing. The stochastic lines, you see they are in the overbought zone, but shaping up for a potential market twist. That's for sure. Honestly, the signal is not super clear. Classic rookie mistake, just trusting the indicators blindly. But what is an indicator? Just a formula. So don't just dance to its tune without understanding the music, actually. It's just a formula churning out past the graph data. Indicators don't have physical powers, they're just adding some seasoning to the picture. It's all about seeing the whole show, not just the trailer. Look at this chart dance again, like just we predicted. And look here, our bank is now potting at $1,000, drink on me! Well, not really. Let's raise the stakes. We've hit the high roller table with $1,000. All right, buddies, up next. A shiny new trade put in a golden chance to go long on the great British pound Canadian dollar pair. Yep, the good old British pound and Canadian dollar going here. Eyes on the screen, guys. You see that last candle? broke through the resistance in this time of market with a snazzy, snazzy yellow line. I whipped out this level from some old school price action. It's like digging up an old photo album, but trust me, you are not missing out. Also notice the blue line of our long-term trend hinting at a U-turn towards growth, yeah? Then comes this big, bold, red candle crash of bouncing from that resistance, a correction in the making. It's got the weight of the last two candles combined. Such a power move in just a minute against the trend. So what's next? Probably a boost. Um, just like that. Our bank is ballooned to $1,898. I'm with that money ladder. Now you are gazing at the Euro Great British chart. What I see? A stellar shot to cash in on this pair's price going up. So let's dive right into this. Spot the twist near our support level, which by the way, I've clamped up with another yellow line. Just remember, level is not just a line, it's like a VIP zone at the club. Our trust stochastic dipping its toes in the oversold pool, but itching. Magdi's signal, kind of playing coy. Still, that green histograms was pouring sweet nothings about a possible market flip. Hold on your hats, because the early chart is where the party really starts. Let's jump in. Right here, we've got a support level spot and two big candles. 
Over two hours, the price shot up on some hot gossip news and then took a nosedive back. Guys, we're closing the green with our deposit looking pretty at $2,648. So a bounce from the support was just a thing. By the way, I found another shiny chance to go long on Swiss franc and the USD pair. This time, let's play detective with indicators. That green Magdi line is hooping over the red one from below. Both are shine away from Magdi's zero level, a big flashing open trade sign. Magdi's got three main moves. So crossing the zero line and either sneaking above or below its signal line. And we are seeing two out of three here. On our chart, the price is doing a little sideways shuffle and keeps poking the resistance level. Those wicks on the candles. Its slide down seems to lose steam. Looks like the buyers are chugging some energy drinks. A breakout could be on the horizon. And bam, the chart shows up like it had too much coffee. Our crystal ball game was in point and our bank is now flexing at $3,448. Lucky me. Buddies, queue up the next big play. I'm eyeing another bullish move. We've got a full-blown signal party over here, but let's break it down step by step. First up, eyes on the price. Notice how moments ago it stepped out of a price huddle, a consolidation zone where it was chilling for almost 10 minutes. That just a bit. This coffee break happened right by the support fans. Remember, a level is more like a playground zone, not a brick wall. So next up, indicator analysis and the picture here as clear as a sunny day. First, the MACD line cross. It's basically saying buy me dinner because we're going up. Been there, done that today already. Second, our trusty stochastic oscillator is making a dash for its upper end like it's spotted a sale. When both these bad boys are singing the same tune, you are likely on the winning side. And we're back in green. Time to wrap up today's party with a cool $4,248 balance. Today was my trading fiesta. I made from $50 more than $4,000 in just 15 minutes. How did you like my two indicator wonder system? I hope that you really like it a lot. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel in order not to miss out on my new videos with lots of useful information for trading pros and newbies. Guys, don't forget to send me a message on my Telegram channel and I promise to send you a registration link to Pocket Option that grants you 50% deposit as a bonus. And also, I share trading signals daily on my Telegram channel. So don't miss out, let's make the trading successful and profitable with me. Here is your pocket queen, have a great day, goodbye, see you on my next videos.